He was obviously upset. He's got this weapon on his shoulder. He was just flailing around and moving around really weird like and he was really had that look. I just imagined it, it was a look like the guy who did the bombing in the theater. That kind of look. Well, he had it. Why is this just now a big deal? Why weren't you out here months 2000, ago? 2000, I've been out here since 2000. I look at here, your history. In I've fact, been here every this, single week for 22 years. I wasn't here two weeks ago, but I was here on the no. July the 4th. He said, do you know the history of, of the, uh, the Confederate monument and who put it here? Yeah, I know who put it here. It's on the front. Well, do you know why they did it? Yeah, they said to honor the soldiers. I got on my phone to call the police. Well, somebody else had already called them, and they were pulling up. So that probably helped avoid a real big problem. My name is Willie Hatspeth. I've been trying to get the, the county commissioners to <clears throat> agree with me that the monument on the square communicates some things that are negative for my people and me. This all started when one of the commissioners that was in office suggested that they turn the water back on uh, to the fountains. Then I did a little research and found out no one could drink from the water fountains except white people. The Indians couldn't, the African Americans couldn't, the Spanish could, no one but white people could drink from these fountains. And so when I heard they were going to turn it back on, I said, okay, turn it back on, but put, a, put something on the, on the monument that communicates why it was uh, that way in the first place. Coming to this LSA burger and these places for so many years and never even noticed this here and I'm glad that y'all are here to bring this to my attention so we can enjoy so it. So I can admire it and appreciate it and thank God that people were proud enough of our heritage to put this here. This is a blessing. Thank y'all. Last question. Why would you want this move? It reminds me of some negative things that happened in my life. That's what history does. So why don't we put that hangman noose and the gallows right over there and the cages where they put the women and the beating stake where they beat the men and the part where they dug a ditch and put them in there alive. Why don't we do that? That's history too. The monument stands as a reminder of his, historic, historic events. That's true and is intended as a memorial to Denton County citizens. Now that S right there is why I have a problem with that sign, that S. That means me too. Now if that's true, why was my people beat to death? I know I would be one of them. When the nine people in down south that got killed in that church, Die. That started the thing all up again. After I'm finished, and he, you, I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned. I'm glad you mentioned the people that were killed in South Carolina. Nine people that were killed by a man who glorified the Confederacy, glorified your symbolism, just like this town is doing. I'm not advocating. I told the commissioners that it be destroyed, but I am advocating that it be put in a museum. It's kind of like it's gone underground. It's there, but it's not so overt. You know, they don't just yell out the N-word and raise their fist in the air. And they don't uh, throw things at us and spit at us anymore. They just won't hire us. <laughs> it's like, we're not gonna hire you. We're gonna, we're gonna leave, move to gated communities. 
Now you know what gated means? Y'all stay out. That's what that means.